hello guys it's praise the new again and you're welcome to another youtube video on this youtube video i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieve a glass morphism effect on a flyer so i was doing a flyer for a fashion brand gift to new way she's a fashion coach so this is the glass effect i used to place the text given in this design so to achieve that let's just all move into the design you go to your color let's lay off everything now we are going to be changing the size sorry we'll be changing the size now the size we're going to make in use of is 1080 by 1350 and i'll be importing that same image for my gallery This is what we are going to be making use of. So you increase it to the size I've already chosen. Okay, let me just increase it a little. So it's perfect. You lock it. So now, when you are done doing this, you move back to your search engine and tapping blur image images online. So when you search this blog images online, you tap the next, the first news feed that pops up. So this, the purpose for this thing is to actually give a blurry effect to that same picture. So this is the one that I did on this platform. It's pretty easy to upload and blur image. Once you have uploaded your image, it will direct you to something like this. So you put it at blurry almost to the last side and you see something like this then you save it to your gallery you download it so when you are done downloading you move out to your pixel lab let's continue our design when you have downloaded the image on google we will then bring in the image the one we have already downloaded sorry then we pick it we we'll expand it to the size of this actual one here. We then use our drag, then we we'll take it behind. Let me get rid of this. We are not going to make use of that. So we we'll take it behind the actual one we are going to be making use of. The next thing to do right now is to choose a shape. You choose a shape. This is what we are going to be achieving that effect on. I'll be increasing my blog radius like 10. Let me increase this a little. Perfect. We are going to be choosing a color for this shape. Now, the color we are going to be choosing on this shape is the one that is not on this flyer. I'll be explaining that for you guys. I'll be choosing something like the green because green is not on this flyer so I'll be choosing green you then go here you match this one and this one together you then merge it when you're done merging the image you will see that it becomes one next thing to do now is to go over on that same row you will see erase color when you tap enable the erase color you pick the green side and you will see something like this now you see the reason why we add we went to google to blur that image so that it, it, it can actually give us a kind of a blurry effect on the background when we remove the green effect when you are done with that you tap ok so you go to your shadow, you enable your shadow. We'll be making use of white. Now this is what we are going to be making use of. If you don't know how I did this, maybe you should just choose a white color. When you choose a white color, you then reduce the opacity to somewhere like this. That's how I did this. Now the next thing to do right now is to choose another shape. We will lock this. So it doesn't shift. You should choose another shape, just like the shape of this. 
you see that the, um, we are gradually achieving what we wanted you increase it to 10 just like how we did it and this one you are going to be going down to inner shadow on inner shadow you are going to be choosing this color but you, you are going to be living like this but the blur radius you will reduce it maybe 7 is ok yes when you choose finish choosing the blur radius you go to your opacity you reduce your opacity and you just put it but before doing that let me just complete something I didn't do you just leave this here and choose this one you go to your shadows that is on that this one that we are doing here let's just delete this so I don't confuse you guys you go to your shadows just like how we chose that white color then on this offset you in you take it a little to the um, left just to any side you want just to actually give it that glass effect okay this is okay okay this is okay we move back to creating that shape once again just like how we did it increase it to 10 we leave it at white color they are going to be going down you will see inner shadow just after the shadows you'll be reducing the blur radius to 7 ok then the opacity you reduce the opacity you use it to somewhere like 18 18 is ok when you are done with that you will have something like this so you will use this to place on top this one here let me just see to get the right placement me are done with that you should have something like this sorry I'm using my hand to just position the image I'm supposed to use this too So it actually takes a little time to just get to the exact position of the back one. When you are done with that, you let me just shift it. Okay. You go back to your PC team and reduce it still. Now the cool fact about this shape that we just chose right now is that you can actually change the color to any um, glass side you want. Like now it has changed to red. So if you should change it to like um, maybe you see that the color changes like pink, this pink or blue. So it actually gives maybe a blue just any color that you want you want it to be. It will just take that um, dimension. So this is how we just created our glass effect. Like I'm going to be using white. Let me change it back to white. Now this is how we created a glass effect. And after this, I will just be placing my text, of which I will do that later. So thanks for watching my video, and like, share, and subscribe for more tips. Thanks.